Well, Sanjoy there just giving us a sense of the anger, the real outrage outside the court in Delhi. But the reinstatement of this law has really caused an outpouring of reaction right around the world, across India, but comments coming in from everywhere, really. Let's talk now to Neha from BBC Hindi and Marie as well from BBC Trending. Thank you both for joining us. It's been massive, hasn't it, Amory? All over the world, there's been comments coming in. All over the world, and the subject has been trending worldwide. The biggest hashtag related to this ruling is hashtag SEC377, and that refers to Section 377. But uh, most of these tweets are actually coming from India itself. So there have been 20,000 tweets using this hashtag in the past 24 hours, but three quarters of those tweets are from India followed by the United States. So that's quite interesting. It's a conversation that's happening in India at the moment. And what sort of thing have, have people been saying? Has there been sort of a commonality to the sentiment? Uh, a lot of people are expressing their disappointment, outrage. A lot of people saying uh, India is moving backwards instead of forward. There's been a few really high profile people have tweeted as well. The author, Chetan Bhagat, he tweeted saying, we're going to put cops behind gay couples. That's the India we're supposed to create in the 21st century. But I think it's important to mention that there are also other views being shared on Twitter and on other social media platforms. It's not all positive. Yeah, what have you been hearing there? Well, on BBC Hindi Facebook page, overwhelming majority of people have actually come out to say, actually, what the Supreme Court has said is absolutely fine. One of the comments which I've picked up is from Lukman Ahmed, who says, a lot of damages have been caused to the culture we are proud of in the name of modernization. And this verdict will save our culture from being further damaged. I welcome it wholeheartedly. And in fact, there was a compilation of tweets sent by some very high profile people people who are very proudly and strongly standing behind the gay community, but underneath them, thousands and thousands of messages by common people, many of whom are actually in big numbers saying what the Supreme Court has done today is absolutely fine. This is about our culture, our value. So there is that the, the question of culture, value, tradition, is this modernization? Uh, that is coming out repeatedly in big numbers as well. How much does this reflect a change, though, in Indian society, the fact that it is being talked about at all, that over dinner tables tonight, families are going to be discussing an issue like homosexuality. In fact, that in itself is a big change. What has happened in terms of what the Supreme Court has decided is one aspect. But the very fact that there are people who are openly taking sides on this issue, the fact that the country is divided on this, there is a niche community, a small community, which is backing uh, gay rights supporters, whereas there are those in big numbers who are also equally willing to talk about it and take a stand. That in itself uh, it seems like a big turning point. I mean, this is a country which is going through massive social change in the last mm -hmm. couple of years. The way things have changed, that whole social revolution that we are seeing reflected even in the recent state level elections, uh, that in itself uh, is a big point of discussion tonight. And that's also being reflected, isn't it? It is being reflected. And I, I've been speaking to someone who set up a Facebook page, which has become very, very popular today. It's called Gay for a Day. And basically, it asks people to change their profile pictures on Facebook, showing themselves either hugging or kissing a person of the same gender. Now, many of the pictures, some of them are playful. They're possibly people hugging their friends and siblings are not necessarily sexual pictures but it's trying to show uh, this solidarity and the person who I spoke to Tanmay the man who set it up he's not a gay rights activist he's a supporter of uh, gay rights but he openly acknowledged to me that while his peers and his friends in Delhi where he lives are overwhelmingly in favor of supporting gay rights and they're against this ruling he couldn't say or acknowledge that uh, the majority of the people in India feel this way especially outside of urban areas I was speaking earlier on our last edition to Rishi Raj, who was saying they're not going to stop here, gay rights campaigners, they're going to take this to the politicians. But realistically, how much of a hot potato is this in terms of elections coming up next year? Do you think that politicians will pick it up? Well, politicians will try and steer away from this because uh, just the way Anne-Marie has pointed out, there is an, uh, you know, there are in urban centres people talking about it, but vast majority of the country is actually uh, looking at it quite differently. They are supporting what the Supreme Court has said. In that that sense politicians will try to steer away from it they do want to come across as progressive and modern taking India to the next level but at the same time want to hold on to things which in big circles are being described as a, a question of value a question of ethics but also remember this is a topic which has been a taboo in Indian society for a long long time repeatedly there are references to ancient Indian scriptures and there are both sides where people say well um, actually in ancient Indian scriptures such as Kama Sutra this was never uh, looked 
people were never judged for their sexuality. And uh, those are the kind of discussions which are happening tonight. But whether politicians will take it, at the moment, the government has been quite non-committal, saying that uh, you know it will happen in due course of time. The elections are just around the corner next year, something they don't want to uh, get involved in right now. I'm it sure seems. it's a discussion that's going to go on for days and weeks. Thank you both very much for joining us.